Hey, I'm Rama from Rama Time, and welcome back to Satisfactory. And this was where we got to last time, my very, very basic setup that's just allowed me to unlock all of Tier 1. And we are now ready to start looking at Tier 2. But first of all, I've got to get off this thing without killing myself. Ah! We managed it. We're doing it. Yeah! That's it. Brilliant. Okay, so let me see. What do we need to do for Tier 2? I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Right, there's quite a lot going on in here. So we've got part assembly. So this will give us an assembler. So that allows us to take two pieces into it and have something come out. Um, copper sheets, rotors, modular frames, and smart plating. That's what we're going to need for the space elevator. So obstacle clearing. There's our chainsaw and solid biofuel. Okay, so that's potentially very useful too. Jump pads. I don't use jump pads very often, but probably I should use them more. So I will look into that. Uh, the awesome sink is really good. You can get some cool things out of the shop by just destroying objects you've got by flushing them into the sink, which is useful. Uh, and logistics number two. So logistics mark two is really important because... Uh, it speeds up the di the time. Uh, things move across the belt much quicker on Mark II's. I mean, still very slow compared to the later ones, but that's where we need to be. So, we're going to start over here. We need to get 200 wire, 200 of these. So, um, where are we going to begin? Now, my little system here is filling up. So, I need to do a little bit of tidying, I think. And I'm half tempted to kind of clear all of this. Um, yeah, and, and kind of start again, because I've now got miners. So that means that I can actually run a miner on a node, which will then fill up a bin automatically. I don't need to run around like I am at the moment, uh, refilling everything. And I think that will make a big difference uh, to this whole setup moving forward. So I'm going to have a quick tidy up, uh, basically clear everything and make a base for me to start with. So let's get on with that. Okay, and that is my first floor set up. So let's start plopping some of the bits back down again. So we want to put our hub somewhere kind of central. Um, I don't really want it interacting with that tree every time though. That's a bit annoying. So I'm going to actually plop my hub. Um, I want to make sure that my... Let's see. Uh, let's, let's put it there. Click that up. Okay. So I need some more concrete, but fine. Let's just get on. Um, this is still our biomass bin. <laughs> Right, uh, and our electricity is going to all run... Oh, we need concrete. Oh, I need more concrete. I've used it all, though, haven't I? Let's just pull that in for a minute. We'll start making more shortly. Um, let's do... That's going to be where our power comes from. It all comes from that one place there. Okay. <clears throat> right. Okay, so our limestone is over here. So what we can do is get our... Uh, we can go into production. We can create a miner. And, oh, we need we need the, the, the portable miners in order to do this. So we've got to go back to here. Once these are empty, I can fix this area. At the moment, I can't pick it all up. So um, portable miner, we'll have those two. I think there's more up here, so we'll have those as well. That's interesting. I should have six, surely. Okay. Um, get rid of those out of the floor. Okay, so our miner, we will plop down like this. Uh, okay. We can 
haven't got enough stuff. Okay, so we'll have those away. We'll have those, we'll have those. We'll put those back in. All that can go back in, as can that. Let's just pick up the stuff that we definitely need for the time being. Uh, we'll have those, we'll have those, that, that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Okay, the rest can wait. Okay. So this is going to come straight from there, and what we'll do is we'll have that going directly into uh, a constructor. So we'll place that nicely on the edge there. And we'll just connect that directly. It may not be aesthetically perfect, but it's a, an improvement. Right, and we'll get this underway over here. So, uh, select recipe. This is going to be making concrete. Uh, and I don't want to have to mess around with it. So I will literally have it. So it makes concrete and plops it straight into a bin right next door to it. There we go. Uh, like this. Like that. I'm not very happy about that. Okay, so we'll come to there, come to there, one, two, okay, that's nice and neat. Alright, so that's going to be doing its thing as soon as I power this up, which is in just a moment. I'm going to grab some biofuel and we'll put enough in that one, and we'll put enough in that one, and then the rest will just go back. Okay. Um, so we'll just check, make sure that this is as expected. So yep, yeah, we've got, oh look at the speed, it's so slow. Oh my goodness me, that's awful. So, so slow. So that's going to come into there and it's going to start making concrete which will go into there. But that will now continuously run, so that's beautiful. Uh, the next thing will be um, smelters. So we need to get the iron running again. So the iron is coming from there. Um, now th there is a types of uh, nodes. So this is actually a pure, which is really good. It means we can get a ton of iron ore out of it. But with the, the uh, speed of our belts at the moment and the speed of our miner, it makes no difference to us at all. So right now we just need to basically not worry about it. We just need to get something so it's, it's manufacturing. And let's see how I've got enough now to make a miner on this iron certainly looks like it and there we go we'll go to there and to there cool right so this needs to get smelted so we will do a smelter here uh, and we'll just run it round the back for now, I think. Let's keep it relatively straightforward. It doesn't need to be super complex. I'm just trying to make it look a little bit interesting. Right, okay, I've got a problem because I need more concrete. I do need this concrete to hurry up. <laughs> the other end okay so that's going to come in there eventually it will reach it um, and I want to connect the power to here let's just have a look what have we got so we're using 14 of our 40 at the moment, so that's all right. And this is going to be doing iron ingots. And these iron ingots, will I will basically have it working the same way as that other one. So I want to have um, a storage container. This is not going to be a fast system by any stretch of the imagination. This is purely uh, enough to get kind of up and running. So that will be putting those in there. And then from there, I'm going to come out. To there. 
for now. Um, and what I will do is use a splitter to send that off into two different directions. So um, I will have the production constructor. So this one here. place like that. That will be doing something. I can't remember what. Iron plates, that's it. <laughs> and what we will do is uh, I wanna mm, I don't know what I want to do here. Okay, so I've just set up this real basic setup here. One, this one's doing iron plates, this one's doing rods. Uh, it comes into this smelter off that there miner. This then puts it into this, which then comes out here, splits into two, and there, that, that will give it, be giving us our rods and our iron plates. Grand, okay, great, groovy, wonderful. So, what is next? Um, Let's go and see how are we doing with our concrete. Good, we've got some concrete now so we can carry on. I think we need to make sure that we've got something doing copper stuff somewhere. And I've actually forgotten where the copper node is. That's over there. Okay, so we're going to have a similar sort of thing. Let's just check our power. How are we doing? So we're on 26. Ooh. Okay, why are we fluctuating between 26? Ah, it's because that is running on and off because basically that bin is full. No. Oh, it's just because this is the speed that this is doing its thing. It's doing them at 30 a minute and that is delivering, I imagine, on a pure with a minor mark one, I think that's 60, right? Oh no, 120 per minute that can deliver. Okay. So, just to give you an idea, if I wanted to expand, I could actually, so I can do 30, this can do 120, so that means I could run four of these off this, um, and I'm running just one at the moment. So, in terms of expansion, I will be able to expand here, uh, and just do a little row of four or something. Mm, that's a good point, I probably should have done that already. Okay, well there we go, I've done a bit of work, and we have now got a bit of a m small smelting setup which is basically going to be the ground floor of my small little silly factory. <laughs> um, so essentially over there I've got an iron node which is pure, which means I can pull out 120 iron, per, iron ore per minute, which then goes into these four uh, smelters, schmelters, and they will do 30 iron ingots per minute. So therefore that's absolutely perfectly balanced to make a consistent stream. And it is exactly the same story over here with these four, which are all doing my lovingly glowing copper uh, ingots, which are coming off that pure copper node over there. And just over there behind that tree where you can't see it is a normal uh, uh, limestone node, uh, which is, uh, goes into here. This basically makes 45 of these per minute. Um, so the maths don't really tie up with, with that node. So I've just got it basically just creating me some concrete which goes into that. So that's happening. Now the problem is, is all this uses a little bit more power than my standard setup gives me. So I have had to build just over here a couple of extra um, power generators, which again, they're all running on biomass. So I do have to keep my eye on it, but I have that bin there. Every time I collect leaves and whatnot, I turn it into biomass. Now around me I have some other nodes so I can improve on what I've got here but this is a really good start because this means I've got a nice amount of uh, iron ingots and copper ingots being made with my plan being that I will make a second floor to allow um, all the constructors to be built on. So I, because I haven't got a lot of space here at all, you can see I'm already used up pretty much all my space. Uh, I've got a bit of space over there, I could do something over there 
but this is kind of yeah a little bit limiting so I'm just gonna build up for now so that I can start making uh, all my bits to do the tiers much quicker and much easier uh, so yeah so that's the next bit is to somehow make more stuff hmm let's see how we're gonna do that ow Hey you, come back here, come back, come back, come back. I haven't got anything to give you yet. You don't want a mushroom. Um, do you want this carapace? Carapace, no? Okay. If I find a berry, I'll come back for you. Right. <laughs> okay, so we know that there's a doggo nearby. Right, anyway, back to what I was doing. From tiny acorns, mighty oaks will grow. <laughs> so, here you can now see what I've done. Right, so just to quickly uh, give an idea, I have over here, this is my general storage area for the early game stuff. Uh, I have all of my smelting going on over here and it is bringing my iron ore and my copper ore over to the two halves of this part of the base. And over here I have five constructors just building wire. Um, I'm not actually doing that as efficiently as I could. With the number of copper ingots I've actually got coming in, I actually need eight constructors just for the co to make the copper wires. But I've only done five for now just because of power. I didn't want to expand the power too much before I move on to coal. Um, but I have my five making uh, the, the copper wires and then two of those feed one which just makes these cables so they go into the storage over here then over this side I have five six even I have six two are making iron plates four are making iron rods and two of those four are feeding these three here which are making these screws now this is all perfectly balanced so the exact number that's coming in is being manufactured into the exact number to go out so I'm very pleased with this. This is a really cool first setup. Uh, I do want to expand this a little bit more, but I will do that later. But this is definitely a great start. So I'm now collecting up all the important stuff. So what I now need to do though is find a nice way to create these reinforced iron plates. And they use a lot of screws and a lot of, uh, uh, well, a fair bit of um, iron iron plates and as you can see my iron plates I'm not making tons it's just enough to kind of keep it going for now but I want to find another iron node which there's one there create another smelter set and that will be purely making more iron plates and then I will set up a dedicated uh, reinforced iron plate area so that's kind of the next the next bit to do but overall yeah yeah, I'm 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 chuffed with this. This is an interesting design. Um, oh, let's let's go for a quick walk. I probably shouldn't have jumped off there. Ow! Uh, I purposefully made it like look interesting. I've tried to keep it neat. I kind of like this. You have this walkway where you can walk underneath everything going in, and you can cut through and see the other parts and get to them if they need any maintenance or anything like that. Um, I have tried to make it so you can move through the base without having to jump over stuff, but sometimes you just cannot help that. As you can see, this is all running really nicely. 
I love this little uh, <laughs> this little bit here where you just get a glimpse of stuff before it goes off. So yeah, it's uh, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Let's go and do a couple of bits. We can now unlock some tiers. So let's go have a quick look and see what we can unlock. Uh, so parts assembly. We need cables, rods, screws and plates. We have all of that already, I believe. So let's go and see what we have in our bins. Hmm. Now the one thing is I want to be able to see what's in these. See, I could do that trick where it comes, the stuff comes out, but oh, I don't know. Perhaps I'll just, I'll just do this for now. It's not perfect because you can't run across the front very easily. You get kind of stuck on these, but at least now I can see what's in there. We need 300 of those. Oh, we've got enough of those, definitely. We need 200 of those, so we'll grab a couple more of those. 500 screws, we have that. And then we need 200 cables. And uh, yeah, we're basically there. Okay, let's go and unlock these. Boom, 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 boom. <gasps> a boosh. Hey. More Off you go. Parts can now be automated. Right, right. Project so that's that one. Be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. <sighs> Right, um, next milestone. Obviously, we need to wait for the pod to come back before we can actually do it. But we've got here obstacle clearing, so we need 500 screws, 100 cables, and 100 concrete. So we're good for that. The cables won't be quite ready yet because I, I emptied the bin. It just needs a little bit longer to stack those up again. But we've got plenty of time because the pod's not here yet. But my cables are coming in. It's looking good, looking good. Um, let's have a quick look. What did we unlock? Oh, we've got a MAM. We need to place this MAM somewhere. Where are we going to put this MAM? I'm going to eat this mushroom. There we go. Um, see, my main base has got a bit crowded. I need to move the hub out of the smelting area, really. So I need to kind of have a re think about this layout. But I'll do that in the next one. Um, Let's just double check all power is running okay. Oh, it's starting to get a little bit low, so let's just top up all my powers. And I have four minutes to wait for that pod to return. So while I was having a little wander around, I spotted this. And that is a pure limestone node. So, combined with that pure limestone node, this normal node here... I can get 180 limestone per minute and that divides perfectly into four constructors building concrete with 45 limestone per minute. So what my plan now is, is I'm going to expand over this way and I'm going to build a small concrete factory that literally processes these, these two nodes and just gives me a ton of concrete, which will be plenty for the early game. I will be getting a big stack, so I'll build a, a big old storage room in there and just start collecting concrete because you need a lot of concrete when you start trying to do all these uh, these foundations and so on you need a lot of concrete so that's cool that's grand um, but it also means that this is a little bit awkward actually oh I've just spotted that look how have I done that oh no way Th that's something that just bothers me look because I've, I've ac actually missed the center <laughs> center point so I need to delete these and make them again but I kind of want this out of the way so I can see which I need the chainsaw for which I can get in two minutes and six seconds hmm okay so we won't do anything with that just yet and here it comes finally we wait for you for like ever mate come on hurry up uh, da, 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 da. what am I trying to do this one Okay, so, boom, 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 and a boosh. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. 
Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. See ball. He. Okay. So now we have unlocked uh, the chainsaw. So we need to make a new uh, equipment workshop, which I think just for now I will plop there. And then we need to make a chainsaw, but we need some bits. And on the way through, let's just check what our next milestone will be. Uh, jump pads. Oh, we need rotors for this one. So we can't do that. Well, we can do that one if we did it manually, but we don't want to do it manually. I want to do it all through machines. So we'll leave that one for the minute. Um, awesome sync. We can do that. We have the bits already for that. And logistics. I really want this. However, again, this is plates, right? Reinforced plates. So for that, again, I want to make a machine to do it. I don't want to just stand and craft it manually. So. What do we, uh, let's select, um, let's start unlocking the sink. We can collect the bits for that, but first I just want to make my chainsaw. We want that. Oh yeah, that's better. Finally, I can clear the floor. Much, much better. Right. Okay, so we are on the move. Uh, let's go and collect up some bits from our bins. Done, 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 done. Ready and oosh. Hey, <laughs> so that's the sink. So basically the sink is uh, like a big uh, grinder that you can just throw stuff you make into. It converts that into points which you can then use to buy stuff inside of the, sh inside of the shop. Which is things like uh, additional things for creating like bases like uh, doorways and windows and ramps and all sorts of weird and wonderful cool stuff. What was that sound? Yep, I've run out of power because my... Uh, I've run out of fuel. Damn. I'm just going to add one more biomass burner for now. I will do something with this. I don't need the other biomass burner at the moment, but because it's close, uh, I just thought I would do it. i um, just going to go through and make sure that everything has got plenty of fuel. Okay, and now let's turn it back on again. Yeah, see that spike would have put it over. Yeah, good thing I built that extra one. So, right. This is only a temporary. I will build a bio factory power station something soon. Um, because, yeah, we've got a little way to go before we get coal. Okay, I think we will call it a day for this episode now. And we have done really well. We've built an entire smelting area. We've built... A nice area creating a bunch of the early game stuff and as you can see we're creating plenty of them so it's moving slowly but it's ticking over really nicely and this is enough to get started so the next thing I want to do is find a way to automate making the uh, iron plates so I will find another iron node which I think there's one literally just over there yep there it is and I will make a small factory dedicated to just making these iron plates which will then feed another area that will then create the reinforced iron plates and I will also look at making in the rotors and I think we'll do the, all of that on the next episode plus we're going to build a mini concrete factory over here and finally do something about our biofuel power because this is not going to sustain us for very long so we need to make a small factory that basically powers it uh, somehow so that is all to come next time and I have a slightly ambitious plan I'm going to be trying to upload two of these videos a week on a Tuesday and a Friday I have recorded these first two back to back so episode one and two I will release to start um, and if you like it then please hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I do upload the new videos and if anybody really fancies a live stream let me know in the chat and if I get enough people that are interested to come and watch a live stream, we'll do some live building as well. Cool. Great. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.